I have been watching a lot of master classes and one of my favorite master classes is from Thomas Keller. So I figured I'll just do a version where it's me doing Thomas Keller's master classes. So it'll basically be like a low budget version of Thomas Keller's master class. Uh, and that is my whole concept for this new video series. So first up today, I wanted to make mashed potatoes. Uh, the first step of making mashed potatoes is putting potatoes in cold water, cold salted water and boiling it, which you think is not really complicated, but there's a lot of things you need to know. First off is picking the right potatoes. In America, a lot of our mashed potatoes were used to using russet, which is great for a baked potato, great for french fries, but apparently they're not so great for making mashed potatoes because as they're boiling, they take in too much water. And when a potato takes in too much water, it doesn't leave it a lot of room to take in a lot of fat, like a lot of that butter and a lot of that cream that you want in a mashed potato that makes it real good. Unlike a Yukon Gold, which is a lot more dense. Um, I happen to have extra russet potatoes in my fridge and they were roughly the same size as a Yukon Gold and I didn't want it to go to waste, especially in this time of COVID. We gotta use what we got, you know? So I'm mixing them both to get the taste of the Yukon Gold and the creaminess and I don't know, that watery, mashy gumminess of the russet potato. So, got these potatoes and I got my water. But the thing is, the water has to be cold. You can't get your water boiling ahead of time because then when you put your potatoes in, it's gonna cook unevenly. The outside's gonna be cooked, the inside's not gonna be cooked. And it's gonna be a big old mess. So, don't do that. Um, also, salt your water, just so it has um, some flavor, so your potatoes can start taking in some flavor. Uh, you can use whatever salt you normally use to salt your water. At my house, my mom is apparently fancy, and we only have pink Himalayan sea salt, or I guess it's not sea salt, pink Himalayan salt. So that's the salt I'm going to use. I'm going to drop these potatoes in. And then I'm gonna set it to boil for maybe 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, basically just until we stick a fork in it and then we're done. All right, potatoes are done boiling. You may be wondering why I didn't cut up the potatoes and I didn't peel their skin. Other of you guys may have never cooked mashed potatoes before so you didn't even notice that I did this or you don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyways, the reason I kept the skin on and kept it whole is because, again, we don't want those potatoes waterlogged. Uh, we want to have that skin as a barrier to too much water getting in. And as you'll see from my method of mashing these potatoes, uh, the skin is not really going to be an issue. So what I have here is a strainer. I'm not going to use a ricer or I'm not going to use a potato masher. Um, any of those tools, I like, especially a potato masher, like I don't like buying tools that serve one purpose. This strainer serves many purposes. I could sift flour with it. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna throw a Yukon Gold in here. These russets, I'm gonna leave them out to dry as much as possible because they are a very watery potato. And what I'm gonna do is just smash them in half. See how golden buttery that is? and. It just smells like potato, which I love and is delicious. And I just press it through like this. Um, I don't know if you guys can see because of the lighting. But anyways, I just press my potatoes through. So it's gonna come through here. I have it on a really low heat right now because we wanna keep those potatoes warm. We wanna keep our fats warm when we start incorporating them. And then as I start doing this, you'll see the skin is getting left behind and then we'll just take those pieces and throw them out later. Okay, now I got all that delicious potato mashed through. You can see that there's actually a color difference between the russet potato, which ended up looking a lot more gray versus the Yukon Gold, which is, as its name implies, very, very golden looking. So we already have it 
in a very creamy state because it was pureed, it's time for us to add some of those fats into it. Uh, now, when Thomas Keller did it, he had three types of fat. He had butter, clarified butter, and cream, all warm. Everything needs to be kept warm. Uh, clarified butter, like ghee, just removes the milk fats out of the butter, and it's a much more intense buttery taste without the milk fats weighing it down and detracting from the taste. So it's gonna taste kind of like movie popcorn butter. Like it's a really buttery taste. Unfortunately, I ran out of ghee, so we're just gonna have to use butter. And we ran out of cream as well, so we're just gonna use sour cream. Like I said, this is a budget version of Thomas Keller's Masterclass. But what we're gonna do is just pour in a little bit at a time. We don't wanna overwhelm it. We want to make sure that the mixture is still going to now just mixing it. I haven't added salt. I haven't added garlic. I haven't added any of my other add-ons. This is purely just trying to get all that fat into our potatoes at this point. So now that that's incorporated pretty much, I'm going to add more butter. Now I mince some garlic. My family loves garlic, so I'm just gonna pour this in. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. That's totally fine. Now I've got a lot of chives here as well that I just wanna start folding into the mashed potatoes. I have so much. So I do not need to be shy about adding these chives in. Yes, sour cream and onion mashed potatoes. Now let me taste it. Again, they haven't been salted yet other than the salt that was in the water. Mmm. Oh. There's a lot of sour cream there. I'm very happy. But they definitely need salt. Some black peppers, not gonna hurt either for some flavor. Add another little dimension to it. Okay. And again, just look how the mashed potato just rolls. It's so smooth. Mm. Oop. It's now perfect. Thank you, Thomas Keller.